In this short video, I want to just talk about um, recording a um, Blackboard Ultra Collaborate Ultra session and then how we access those recordings afterwards. All right, so you log into um, Learn and go to the module that you're interested in. And if you scroll down here on the left hand side, you get to Blackboard Collaborate Ultra. Click on that link and wait for it to start. And here you've got your sessions page. All right, um, it's currently showing all upcoming sessions, which I don't have any schedule upcoming sh sessions scheduled. But you can also look over here, and you can see all your previous sessions. All right, because I don't have an upcoming sh session scheduled, I'm just going to use the course room as an example. The course room is a is a is a session that is kind of always available to both staff and students. Anybody can log into the session at any time and use that session to, to have a conversation with um, somebody else. So I'm going to log into that and I'm going to say join the course room. And unfortunately it takes a little bit of time to start up. Okay, and as you can see, currently I'm the only person in this room. These are your uh, Collaborate Panel tools. So over here you could see this this one is the is the um, the chat tools. Here is the participant list. Again, only myself. And then this is um, some tools for sharing your uh, a whiteboard or sharing your screen or sharing files, etc. I'm going to talk about these in a in a later video. And on this side is the session menu, and there's a number of tools over here, but the one that we're interested in at the moment is the start recording tool. So if I s click on start recording, you'll see that a, a banner pops up here to warn everybody that the session is being recorded. And this is that banner is visible on everybody's screen. So if you have a number of students in the room as well, that banner will pop up on their screen as well. And then over here, there's this little camera with a little red dot in it icon that reminds you that the session is being recorded. So at any time, if you're not 100% sure if your session is being recorded, you want to just check, just glance over here in the corner and you can see that that camera is telling you that it is being recorded. All right, and then when you get to the end of your session, okay, or if there's things that you don't need people, to, don't need to be recorded, you can, you can stop the recording and, and restart the recording as many times as you like, okay. Um, once you're done, you can then say stop recording. And again, we see the banner that pops up this, to say that the recording has been stopped and that little icon has now disappeared. All right, and then you can continue with your session or not. Um, and once you're done, you can then come down to the bottom here of the menu and say leave session. And it always asks you how's your audio and your video settings and you can answer how you feel. So I'm going to say good, submit and exit. All right, and then the session is finished, so we can close the browser window and come back here to this sessions page of um, Collaborate Ultra. Now, um, it takes a little while, and I'm not sure exactly how long, but a, a couple of hours for that session to become available. But if you go here to this menu, you can see at the moment we're looking at the sessions, but then there's another option here to look at the recordings. So if you select the recordings, then these are the recordings from my previous sessions. So with my class, since we started online teaching, I've had four sessions over the last week and a bit. And you can see here, these those are the recordings. And for each recording, there is a, a, an options menu here, and you can watch the, the recording within Blackboard, or you can download it as an MP4 file 
video file that you can then for example upload to to Moodle if you have students that are in a class that are some students are on learn and some students are on Moodle and you use the learn collaborate ultra as your online um, interaction platform your live platform you can then still share this recording with those students that are in Moodle by downloading it here and then uploading it to to their Moodle site okay and as you can see you can also change the name you can copy the link and you can send that link to students if you want them to have direct access to the specific um, uh, recording or you can paste that link into sort of the week by week content so that students can easily find the sessions that belong to that week those kinds of things and that's then recording your sessions and accessing the recordings thanks for watching